most gracious Father, wonderful Father, awesome Father. I come to you this morning once again with my head bowed. The scripture says older women should be praying and fasting and teaching young people and being an example and, and helping to teach our grandchildren. Thank you, Father. Thank you that you allowed me to live, to be called an older woman, a grandmother, a mother. I thank you this morning. I pray forgiveness of my sins, my family's sins, home of prayer, bloated trumpets, all of our people in the body of believers and those that will come to know you. I'm so grateful this morning. I thank you for everything you have already done in my life, and I thank you for what you've already done in my family's life. I thank you for what you've already done in every believer's life and those that don't know you, what you have done for the human race, yourself. Hallelujah. Heaven created them and made a way that they can make a choice to be with you always. Thank you, Yah. Thank you, Yah. My heart is so full this morning with thanking you for all the awesome things you continue to do in all of our lives. The fact that we are still breathing, let us know that our jobs are not, not finished yet and that there is still time. And I ask that you send your word into the hearts of all your people this morning Hallelujah to, to remind them that you will never leave them, Father, and never forsake them. Father, thank you for the signs and miracles and wonders you've been performing in, in my own personal life, in my family's lives, and in our, in the believers' lives, in the world, and their families. How your word healed everyone that came to you, Messiah. Everyone that came to you in faith was healed of their sickness, illness, and diseases. Oh, Father, it's so many of us, hallelujah, that are interceding and praying. We're desiring to be healed. We're desiring to be restored. We're desiring to be forgiven, Father. Hallelujah. You are the physician who heals us. Heal us, Father, no matter what manner of sickness, illness, plague, whatever it may be, the virus, the, this pandemic. Heal your people, I pray, Father. Restore and forgive and have mercy on us, Father. Have mercy upon us. I, I thank you, Father. I thank you for your love. I'd like to say all of our family members, hallelujah, and the be believers, hallelujah, thank you. We thank you, Father. Thank you for making a way for us. Thank you for working on, on our homes and Thank you for keeping our homes and thank you for giving us jobs and thank you for restoring us. Thank you for bringing husbands home. Thank you for bringing wives home and children home. Thank you for working on our children. Thank you for working on our, our, our husbands and wives, our uncles and aunts, our grandmothers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I praise you this morning. Thank you, Father, that you're working in Congress and everywhere. You, you are 
letting the world know who you are, the world that didn't know you and didn't believe that you existed. Thank you, Yah. All power is in your hand, Father. So I pray that everyone that hear the sound of my voice, Father, that you would grant them what they need in their families, in their bodies, in their minds. Help them, Father. I pray that you touch your people to pray and fast and agree that you heal every kind of sickness that there is. Sickness that we don't even know the name of yet. There's no one like you. You kill, you make alive, you wound, you heal. You are love. You are righteousness, kingdom of light. But there's a world full of people that belong to the kingdom of darkness. I pray for your people of light to not be intimidated and shy, but be bold as lions to share your truth. I just want to say thank you this morning. Father, I thank you. I thank you personally. I thank you for my family. I thank you for my husband, my children, my grandchildren, my uncles, my aunts, my my family members, I thank you for every believer that truly is our family. Every believer, Messiah said, is his sister, his brother, and mother. So I pray, hallelujah, blessings on every believer. And those will come to know you make a way out of no way for them. Let them hear and know that nothing's impossible for you to do. Don't let them fear because of this virus. Send your word to let them know that you're the same yesterday, today, and you'll be the same way tomorrow. I say again a long time ago, they told them don't pray in that name. Don't teach in that name, Yeshua, Yahushua, which is in the, in the word that we read, Joshua. And so we see there are changes that have been made. We have to pick up and study to find out that Jesus is Joshua. That the one we call Jesus is Joshua. So are we still using what we was using 2,000 years ago? We thank you for answering our faith, Father. Hallelujah. If you go to an antique deal and you know antiques, you stick with the antique because it is more expensive. What you have given us out of your ancient books it's what is standing and moving and operating in us. Your words of truth that came forth over 2,000 years ago, thousands of years, oral and written and however you have brought up your word to us, Father. And now you're bringing knowledge everywhere and your people are rejecting knowledge. They don't want knowledge. But those that love you seek knowledge. They're eating knowledge. They're swallowing down your truth. Their ex your, your Holy Spirit in them is anointing them to do even greater things. I thank you this morning for your Holy Spirit that leads us into all truth and open up mysteries to us. But those that are scared and fearful will not open the book and listen to what you are giving them today. But I thank you, Father, that you anointed me so that and open my ears because my desire is to seek your face and seek what it is you want me to do, to seek, hallelujah, leading to, to, to pet after you, to long for you. When I wake up, when I go to bed, I want to know your truth so that I can live a better life and be a bigger light in this world. 
Oh, merciful Father, thank you so much. Thank you for, for, for highlighting my family and those that believe the message that I carry and those that believe the messages that you that your people carry throughout the world. There are so many lights in the world from this remnant of people that's walking on a straight and narrow path of light. Touch us, Father. Touch us that our, our, our eyes will be enlightened, our ears will open and we will desire. We will desire the history. We will desire the knowledge. We will desire understanding. We will desire wisdom. Thank you, Father. Let all that has breath praise you all through the day today. Let their voice sound louder than the voices that we hear in this world. You are still the healer. You always will be the healer. You are our healer as it is in heaven. Let it be on earth that we are walking in health and strength and joy and peace, sheltered by you. Thank you, Yah. Thank you for this day, Yah. And thank you for all our todays. Thank you for the looking forward to tomorrow and remembering things we 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 in the, in our past that we can share with other people in a testimony. Thank you, Yah. Yah, thank you. Thank you that you're the king of the universe. Thank you that you are our father who art in heaven. Thank you for giving us establishing marriage and giving us children. Thank you. Only you did that. And you're the only one that put law into this earthly realm. And they have they have messed things up in people's minds when it comes to your commandments and your laws. But it doesn't change the fact that they still stand. You have called heaven and earth to witness against us. Have mercy upon us. Thank you, Yah, for your word. Thank you, Yah, for you. Thank you, Yah, for your son. Thank you, Yah, for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Yah, for leading us and guiding us. Thank you, Yah, for teaching us. Thank you, Yah, for all that you're doing today. Thank you, Yah, for restoring us to health. Thank you, Yah, for delivering us from all, all kinds of, of sickness and illness and sins and stuff. Delivering us right now, we thank you. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We thank you for our humanity. We thank you for not giving up on us. We're still alive. Thank you, Yah. Thank you for the sun, Yah. Thank you for the moon. Hallelujah. Let the moon and the sun praise you. Let the stars praise you. Let the fire, the water, the air, the earth praise you. Hallelujah. Let the old men and the old women praise you. Let the hills and the mountains and the trees praise you. Let all that has breath praise you this day all through the day. Let those that come for that's been healed come forward and testify even and more of your healing. Come forth and testify even more of your deliverance. Come forth and testify that their husband came home. Come forth and testify that their wives came home. That they have come forth and testified that their sons and their daughters was healed and they came home. That they would tell somebody. Hallelujah. That we will live what we preach. We will live and we pray without ceasing. With the whole armor. I thank you this morning. I just wanted to say thank you. I'm so, I'm so excited still to be in the land of the living. Still to be able to reach my hands up to you and get on my knees and bow my head. I'm so glad I'm in the land of the living. I'm so glad I'm in the land of the living. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I'm still in the land of the living. I'm so glad. 
I'm so glad that God can still use them. So glad that y'all can still use them. So glad. I'm so glad I can still pray. I'm so glad. I'm so glad he took my sins away. I'm so glad I'm in the land of the living. I'm so glad, I'm so glad. I've been learning to keep on giving. I'm so glad I'm in the land of the living. What about you? Are you glad this morning? I feel so good down deep in my soul. Yes, I do. Baruch Hashem Yahuwah. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so glad I'm still in the land of the living. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Give strength, Father, to your law enforcement, to your military people, to the, the doctors, the nurses, the fire department, the, Hallelujah, sanitation department, all the different, the light department, the gas department, all the different departments that you have set up to ensure that we live a good life here. Hallelujah, on this earth and live as peaceably as, as possibly can we pray for the peace of Jerusalem and for your help in Yahushua. Thank you, Father, for this day's journey. Thank you, Grant. Whoever hear this, grant what they've been asking you for. Please, I pray in Yahushua's name. Amen. Father, we thank you for this day. Hallelujah for those that are fasting. Right now, Father, we want to ask that you give them more strength and encourage others to, to fast as well. We want to thank you for the many miracles and signs that happen in Scripture when your people fasted and prayed. And I want to thank you, Father, that some of the some of the uh, deliverance came through prayer and fasting. There was healing that came through Messiah who always do what your word tells him to do because he is the word. We thank you for the times that he, he fasted 40 days and 40 nights we thank you for the times when when he would come to heal and he would just go right and heal. He didn't tell anybody, wait, let me go fast first. He just healed them because he was always prepared. I want to thank you, Father. I pray that you quicken us as I share some of the, some of the uh, scriptures about fasting to help your people to gain strength to follow through and fast for a change, fast to be closer to you, fast for healing, fast for a new job, fast and pray and speak to you, Father. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We thank you for what you're doing. Hallelujah. Anna fasted and was, was blessed in the New Testament. Saul or Paul fasted. Hallelujah. Cornelius fasted. Hallelujah. And we can fast so that that um, in times of temptation, Messiah taught his, his, his disciples, his Talmudians to fast. I told them about fasting. And he foretold of a time when his disciples would fast. But don't just fast. Fast and pray. Talk to Father. 
Paul regarded fasting as, as a mark of his ministry. Prayer and fasting goes hand in hand. You should see something if you're fasting and praying for the right reasons. Moses was praying and fasting and come down off the mountain with the commandments. Hallelujah. Father, perform many things through those that were obedient to him. So we just want to thank you this morning, Father. Hallelujah. As, as I as I say a prayer to you to help us, help us today, oh Heavenly Father. Help us on this day. We don't know what lie ahead of us today, Father. We ask that your word go ahead of us today and make every crooked thing straight. And we give you praise and thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Nehemiah wept. And it came to pass, and I heard these words. He said that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days and fasted and prayed before Elohim of heaven. Ezra 8, 23 says, So we fasted and besought our Elohim for this, and he was entreated of us to mourn and fast. It's to let Father know you are not playing. He already know, but to see that, to hear that. Thank you, Father, for those that you have put in a fast. And for those that you did not allow them to say anything, I thank you for all how, how you encourage each other and how you lead us to do what we do. We thank you for fast, 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 fasting and praying. Thank you, y'all.